Hi everyone, this is Megan from Propagating Hope, where we propagate and sell plants for a good cause. I'm out here tonight with the mosquitoes and my Saskatoon berry trees. Their Latin name is Amelanchie alnifolia, and my three trees give me about 30 cups of Saskatoon berries a year when they uh, are ripe in about early August. They are definitely my favorite berry and I am looking for a bumper crop this year. If you can see, my tree is full of berries to be. They flower early in spring, white flowers, uh, very beautiful. And then I guess they're pollinated by mosquitoes or probably self-pollination and the wind. Um, and when they're ripe, they're beautiful berries, uh, like blueberries, but um, with a much more sort of interesting almondy taste. So I'm kind of doing a bit of an experiment this evening. I think it might be a little early for propagating in the season, but I'd really like to have these ready uh, to sell so that people can plant them before winter. And that means I need to give them time to root and all that kind of good stuff. So I've, I'm going to try. <laughs> what you want to do for clippings is if you can see, there is a big color difference between last year's growth, this kind of dark wood here, and this year's growth, this lighter wood. And right at the bottom, you can see where it joins. There's kind of a, a ring there. So what you want to do is you want to clip off this year's growth to propagate and a tiny bit of last year's wood, and that's called a heel. So I'm going to show you one I already clipped off. You can see a I get that in focus there. A tiny bit of last year's wood uh, cut at an angle so that it's easier to insert into the soil and then attached to this year's new fresh growth. Okay, so when I'm done clipping that off with the heel, I'm going to get rid of any extra leaves that we have here. So I really don't need very many leaves. Buds would be okay because these are a multi-trunked tree and uh, buds can come up as more trunks which um, is absolutely fine if you're planting in a backyard garden. So I'm going to cut off most of these leaves here. I'm just going to leave two or three at the top just for a little bit of photosynthesis. So while I'm clipping the other clippings I'm going to put this in my non patent aloe juice. So I've got some uh, cut up aloe and squeezed out the, the gooey insides into this water here. And I'll let them suck that up while I prepare all my clippings. When I'm ready, I'm going to be using root stem. Uh, I just use this Pro Mix stem root. Should wear a uh, gloves and glasses while you apply this because it is a mild irritant apparently. I've seen people just stick their cuttings right into the the root stem bottle but I think that's probably not a good idea um, for cross-contamination of plants and uh, things like that and then you get your root stem all wet as well and it is a dry powder. So what I do is I pour some out into a little container and I use a paintbrush to apply it to the heel here and any lower leaf nodes that I ripped off. Then you want to get your soil and you just need something that's a little bit bigger than your clipping so this stick will do. And you just want to push a hole into your pot. 
Once you have a hole, you put the clipping in, almost right to the bottom. And then just firm around it. So hopefully this takes and uh, even if it's a bit early so that uh, people can plant these before winter. These actually grow wild here in the northern boreal forest and they're a very hardy plant and they do super well um, resistant to the diseases here. When the caterpillars come and eat off all their leaves, they just grow new leaves. It's not a problem. So I highly recommend it for everyone's yard. Thank you very much for listening today, guys. I'm going to leave these out with the mosquitoes in a cool, shady place so that they're not stressed after their tr transplant, not really transplant, but after their uh, clipping and uh, they will start their new life, hopefully in these pots.